Today we're making 10 acrylic projects. There are many ways to cut acrylic. On the table saw, they even make blades just for plastics for cleaner cuts. A scroll saw is a great way to get fine detail and tight radiuses. You can score it and snap it. You can use a coping saw. It takes a little bit of practice, but it can be done. Today, we are using the X-Tool P2. I love using lasers to cut acrylic because it's super fast and easy, and the heat from the laser polishes the edges. Let's begin with a pencil holder. Full disclosure, X-Tool did send me this machine, as well as a bunch of acrylic to try this out. So we're just gonna throw that in the bed there. Most of these designs I drew up in Adobe Illustrator. Some I drew up right in the X-Tool software. I will have free SVG files down below. So let's hit the button and start cutting. That took about two minutes to cut out. There it is, still got the protective cover on there. So we're gonna bend this, check this out. So there are multiple ways to bend acrylic. I've got videos on doing that. My favorite way is just using a flame and kind of heating up both sides of the acrylic until it starts to bend. There it goes. Could probably drill into the wood underneath, create little holes to keep that in place. Up next, we're gonna make a simple little box. This is an awesome website called Maker Case, and we're gonna do this box with dividers here. We'll go a width of five, a height of one, and a depth of three. Then we can choose how many rows we want for the dividers, let's say two. That's looking pretty good. And now we can also choose our finger size, if you know what I'm saying, and download the plants. This is another piece of acrylic I got from X-Tool. Very glittery, awesome looking. We'll use this for the box. All right. And they just fall right out of there. Let's put this guy together. Now we'll just glue this together. You can use acrylic cement or CA glue. There we go. Next. Up next is a phone stand. And basically we're just gonna cut a rectangle and do some cool bends in. Super simple. I did round over the corners just a little bit. Get rid of that hard edge. Let's go bend this guy. A lot of times when I'm bending acrylic, I'll cut it out of construction paper so I can see where those bends need to be. Next. This one is probably not showing up on camera, but it has that iridescent kind of, is that the right word, iridescent? Where it like kind of changes color with the angle. So we're gonna use this to make a little wall hanging shelf. Oh, uh, <laughs> so now we're gonna bend, come on, get out of there. We'll bend these guys down to make a little shelf. With the crazy colored ones, you probably don't want to do some bending because the heat does some weird stuff to it. So I'd stick with the solid colors. <laughs> Next, so we put our acrylic in there, refresh, and then we need two of these for our picture frame. So let's send this to the machine. We're gonna cut, process, and start. So this time we use the heat gun and we are able to get a bend in there. So I can put my photo in between the pieces and screw these guys together. Check this out, screw 
that together, and because of that bend, it sits upright. That's my buddy Duke. Light switch cover. Let's use pink for this. Throw that in there. And cut. All we gotta do with this is peel off that protective cover and then countersink these two holes for the screws. Up next, we're gonna make a little welcome sign. This one takes two pieces of different colored acrylic so we can layer it up for a cool effect. All right, so we're gonna just use a little bit of CA glue and start putting this together. The cutoff will be used as a template for all the inside letters. So I can set that in there. Then add a little bit of glue to our letters. Here's a nice welcome sign. I lost a little piece to the exclamation mark. Let's move on. Next. So for this one, we're making a little coat hanger. It's a lot like the shelf that we did earlier where we're bending a little thing down and we're just gonna cut a bunch of them and then mount it on a piece of wood. So for the coat hangers, the trick is to get all of them to bend the same amount. That'll do. And look at that. So now we're gonna make a set of coasters and it's gonna take two layers to get what we need. And I got this, I'm very curious to see how this is going to look layered up because it's, it's clear with the gold fleck in there. These guys are just gonna get glued on there like that. What I didn't take into account was you might see the glue between the layers. So again, you might want solid. Next. This next one is a piece of art using four different colors and it's all gonna fit together like a puzzle. This is cool. Cool beans.